Morning, folks. Welcome to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We've got a lot of fun for you today. We are going to talk to the Frontier Community College volleyball team today on Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. We had Coach Nixie Nikoski here a few weeks ago. She was talking oh, about uh, some uh, Frontier Community College business and all kinds of other stuff. But today it is volleyball day and Coach uh, Nikoski could not be here, but we've got the very next best thing. <laughs> Some might say the better thing. Uh, right? I would. I would. Yeah, I of course would. you would. Yeah. Of course you would. <laughs> we've got uh, the vol uh, we've got five players from the volleyball uh, volleyball team here today, and we are going to talk to these ladies uh, throughout the course of the morning. Have a good time. You are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV over in Salem on Channel Three here in Flora on Channel One Hundred or Channel Twenty Five, depending on your fiber program. Plus, up in Louisville, same story. Sisney over in Jeff over in in uh, Albion uh, in Edwards County, West Salem, Browns. Appreciate you tuning in however you are doing so. Also on YouTube, thanks very much. We appreciate you tuning in. What is going on around the area? See, now you girls are off the camera, so you're okay. Take a go, uh, go powder your nose or whatever young ladies do. I, I don't know what young ladies do. That's <laughs> been so long since I've hung around young ladies. Uh, this is Wednesday, July 31st, and what is going on around the area today? Well, we have a couple of fairs still going on here in the local area up in Effingham today, actually up in Effingham County today, but over in Altamont, they've got uh, their fair continuing on. That at one o'clock today they're going to have a top line harness racing and the horses will be out there this afternoon by the way should be a gorgeous day for racing today about 83 84 degrees going to be the high today just a, a beautiful day for racing also up there they're going to have their 4-h auction and uh, they're also going to have cookie decorating class at the altamont at the Effingham County Fair in Altima. A few um, the vacation Bible schools still going on. Usually here this late in the summer they're about done, but there's still two or three going on. Over in the Salem at the, uh, the Miraculous Mission, they are having their vacation Bible school. It runs until tomorrow and at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. If you have any questions, you can give them a call at the church office at 532-2614. Also uh, at the Clay City Christian Church today. They're going to have a program tonight. It is Wednesday, of course, church night. Program tonight is Tony Wolf. He'll be giving the message. Merriam Community Church down in Fairfield. They'll have uh, their vacation Bible school. That continues on. By the way, it's 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. They do have a bus pickup if, you're, uh, if you can't make it at the uh, Save-A-Lot there in Fairfield. They're down on 7th Street, so you can find that. You know, you, uh, that's a 540. Give them a call to church if you're interested, 842-9870. Plus, a little farther north out on Enterprise Road, the Mount Zion Baptists, so they're having uh, their uh, vacation, their Christmas in July vacation Bible school, and that's uh, going through Thursday night as well. Uh, what is going on today, this being July 31st? It's National Avocado Day. National Avocado Day. While guacamole is grand, don't settle for just the chips and dips on this food holiday. Since avocado is so versatile, clear the table for the entire meal. Includes everything from the appetizer to the main dish all the way down to dessert. The, on Af National Avocado Day, this tree-grown fruit has them all covered. And uh, by the way, avocado is... Now, do you do ladies realize that avocado is a superfood considered yes. a superfood i am a large fan you big old big avocado love fan. avocado Gu uh, guacamole you eat guacamole yes. all the time however you can get the yes. avocado same thing audrey i'm a little more mild in my avocado life <laughs> i'm like you i'm like you my wife will eat the avocado and i say mm -hmm. hey you know that she'll put she puts on burgers do you put on burgers I put it on everything all right 
Okay. Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you how avocado is a superfood. There are many reasons to celebrate it. Our avocados targeting insulin resistance and heart healthy fat fats. They also fight Alzheimer's with omega three fatty acids. And another avocado superpower is preventing the and repairing damage due to its due to its source of vitamins C, E, and K. Another of the secret weapons in avocado: the high oleic acid content so i'm going to ask you here eventually uh well you somebody might be in pre-nursing or something like that can tell me what oleic acid content is kaylee are you in Anybody? <laughs> That'd be a big hard no. <laughs> yeah, okay. That'd be a big hard no. By the way, ancient Aztecs used the avocado as uh, to beautify their skin topically with masks. Well, I'll do that. I'm gonna have to look that up. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Those, uh, you know, and the Aztecs, they 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 lived. They, they never looked really old. Yeah, they had some nice skin. Yeah, very nice. Very. <laughs> we have no idea. We're just making stuff up. This is also National Mutt Day. National Mutt Day. Oh, look at the cute mutt. Uh, they do it twice a year. Yeah, look at that cute mutt. This is a. It'd be a nice day to uh, find yourself a mutt and give him a new home. It is. Uh, it's a wonderful thing. My Dog. all three of my dogs are mutts. Well, well, actually, take that back. Only one's a mutt. The other three, the other two are. They're all rescue. So, oh, uh, well, yeah, yeah. that's all right. I got no problem. <laughs> Uh, National Butt Day started uh, in uh, by celebrity pet expert and animal welfare advocate Colleen Page founded it back in 2005 so there's that what is on television today what do you want to watch on TV a few things going on tonight I talked about the Marion County 4-H auction is going on tonight it's at 7 o'clock and it'll be right here on this channel over in Salem on here on channel 3 in Salem channel 25 and channel 100 on elsewhere throughout the uh, Wabash area plus the huge series gets going in Chicago well that's not the huge series but I'm but the, the, in Chicago the Chicago White Sox will take on the New York Mets at 705 tonight Jacob deGrom versus Lucas Giolito and game two of the Cubs versus the Cardinals 715 tonight on Fox Sports Midwest also on NBC Sports Chicago channel 643 also on uh, the uh, ESPN channel 601 just take your pick. You're going to find one uh, version that you like to see. If you like Cubs announcers, go to 643. If you like Cardinal announcers, go to 630. If you like them, uh, if you if you don't care what your announcers say and you think that the uh, that they're all that they're for the other team anyway, go to 601. Go to watch ESPN. Cardinal fan. Oh yeah. Cardinal fan. Cardinal fan. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Cardinal fan. How about that? Yeah. All right. That's uh, Kyle Hendricks versus Miles Michaelis. That's all tonight on Big Talk with uh, on Wabash Catch TV. You are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. We're going to talk Frontier Community College volleyball with these with these and more young ladies uh, when we return. You are watching Big Talk. We'll be back right after these. Stick around. Looking to build a new hobby building, horse barn, or farm shop? Let Morton Buildings help you design and construct a building that perfectly suits your needs. We'll be there for you every step of the way, even post-construction. With the strongest non-prorated warranty in the industry. Plus, Morton's exclusive Energy Performer Insulation System provides the ultimate in comfort and efficiency. To see our latest projects and learn more, please visit mortonbuildings.com. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont, Chevrolet, Chrysler, and Fairfield. Let Gabe McGay-Hayes, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. 
Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at Bruce D at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Hi, I'm Brian. You probably know someone who's had a heart attack, COPD, or a heart bypass operation. You might even know someone who's had a heart transplant, lung cancer, or part of their lung removed. But what about someone who's had all six? Now you do. My tip is, if smoking doesn't get you one way, it'll get you another. Morning, folks. Welcome back to a Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. We are talking Frontier Community College Volleyball, Frontier Community College down in Fairfield. And we have some ladies here on the show today that are from a wide variety of different uh, places. As uh, We've got some ladies from Southern Illinois as well as some ladies from farther south than that uh, and a little bit farther west than that, too. So we're going to have some fun today previewing previewing this season in uh, in Frontier Community College Volleyball. And a, a le young lady that was here last year in talking about Frontier Community College Volleyball down there. Welcome Audrey Fleener. How you doing, Audrey? I'm doing pretty good. Hey, thanks very much for coming back. Appreciate it. Good to see you. Right. Uh, Ramsey Clark is here too. Welcome, Ramsey. Hello. Thank you. Uh, thanks very much for coming in. And now you all need to speak louder voices. Try to match <laughs> me in volume. We'll try. <laughs> <laughs> it's occasionally difficult to, uh, to match me. Okay, uh, Audrey, tell me. All right, you were here last year. We talked. Uh, we had different coach last year. We did. And uh, Marjorie was has, Marjorie Jordan has left. Has been replaced by Nixie Nikovsky. Mm -hmm. Have you had a chance to work with uh, the new coach a whole lot yet, or just just basically getting to know? Or how's that work out? We've had last night. We had a team sleepover. You had a team sleepover. Yes. We had to sleep on a not very comfy floor. I missed my bed. Yeah. But so we talked to her a lot. We had her in a spring season two, and we had a practice this morning. Okay. So what that now in volleyball, it's a, at least in college volleyball, the, the fall season is the one that really matters, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, how many games did you play in the spring season? We had about three tournaments. Yeah, like at least three games each. Yeah, just but, um, enough to kind of wet your whistle, I guess. Yeah, right? just keep it in the swing of things. Um, how does that work? Because last year you were freshman, and uh, you, you you were on a volleyball team the size of Frontiers. You got a roster about what fifteen, eighteen young ladies, something 12? like that. Twelve. Twelve players. Yeah. Um, that must uh, you must have to. Uh, you're everybody's getting a play then, aren't they? It's a lot of playing time. Yeah. It's a lot of playing time for everybody. If you're playing in the spring, you, you played, a, what, like a half a dozen games? Or do you, do you have a lot of time? And I've always wondered how if volleyball players get, all right, I'll put it. I'll, let me, I've, I've watched volleyball all my life. My, I, only, I quit watching high school, high school volleyball when my sister left high school when she graduated and and then i went to the university of illinois and i watched the illini the illini ladies play back when they were playing in kenny gymnasium uh, for four years that was a lot of fun it looks like you know if you watch volleyball it doesn't look like a, all that 
tough a game except for people running and jumping. Do you get exhausted? It's a, it's a, it can get really oh, yeah. tired. It's a lot more movement than you'd think it Is would that be. right? Yes. I mean, you, 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 people people think that basketball players uh, work harder. That's not really true, is it? No. I mean, I feel like we're constantly moving. Mm -hmm. Just, pro I mean, not obviously the distance that basketball players would be, but we always have to follow the ball. So yeah. our bodies are constantly moving. Uh, what do you play? Libero. You're the libero. You are. I'm a right side and left side hitter. Right side and left side hitter. So you're a, you're j leaping up and spiking all over <laughs> yep, the net. We're trying. So that's cool. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what's the? Uh, all, all right. I've I've always now I, I am showing off my stupidity. <laughs> I'm I'm showing off ignorance. I feel terrible about doing that, but I do it all the time. So it's really nothing new. I'm okay with that. Uh, okay. As as the outside hitter. Uh, do you switch sides up in the front? I guess you do as part of the rotation, right? It just depends on who's up front. With Are you, you ever in the middle? I am not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> now you're not because you're maybe not as you're maybe not. Let me. You're maybe not the tallest outside hitter that yeah. on, is on the team, yeah. right? No. <laughs> well, that's that's fine. You must be able to leap like a, a jackrabbit. Sure. You can. Or, yeah. You definitely can. Trying. All right. Well, yeah, all right. Have, have you been training? So you've been, you graduated from high school. Where'd you go to school? I went to Hamilton County. And Hamilton Bates County. Yep. Played for Hamilton County. Had some really good teams. Won regionals down there, right? Yep. Yeah. One, one, so, so yeah, they were very good. Um, whenever you got to play in college, last year, your freshman year, how different was tell me a little bit about the difference from high school volleyball in the black diamond conference to college volleyball in the GRAC, in the uh, the great great lakes conference whatever you guys are in <laughs> i'd say it's just so much faster really it's a lot more fast paced than high school how so? You mean the, the you get the ball and serve it faster, or, or people are getting it over the net faster, or what? I feel like in college, like we've had more experience. So, like, um, what's it called? Volleyball. A, a play. <laughs> Just yeah. play. The game is better <laughs> yeah. quality than high school, and like the plays right. last longer. Yes. So the it's rallies. Like, yeah. Your rallies are going to go longer. Yeah, and it's. I feel like it's more strenuous because it's like, okay, we've worked this long. We just got to keep going. Even though you're, even though you're, uh, you know, you've got more powerful, you've got more powerful hitters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shouldn't, wouldn't one think? Now, you, you guys are going to think I'm silly for asking this. Wouldn't one think that with more powerful hitters, you're going to have a lot more kills and the rallies would be shorter, kind of like men's tennis? Well, well we have better defense. Yeah. Now. There we go. Yeah, yeah the Libero talking about defense. <laughs> exactly right. You knew that was coming. Uh, all right, now, do you ever get to the front line being a Libero? Nope. It's, it's like illegal, right? Yes. Yeah, you can't cross that, the, uh, what's it called, the attack line. Yes. Okay. Right. I stay back. I do my job behind the line. <laughs> There's no need for me to be up there. What's your favorite part of your job? Are you the killer server or are you the uh, killer setter? You like set everybody up. Uh, what's what's the best part of yours? Your best part of your game, Audrey. I enjoy. I'm asking it. Audrey for <laughs> some self reflection here. Uh, that uh, she. When's the last time you did some self reflection, Audrey? On the way up here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My favorite part would be when I actually die for a ball and get it. Really? That's fun. And able to uh, save it back for the team to, yeah. uh, to be able to get it over. Oh, uh, see, now that makes that, that makes a ton of sense. You being, how tall are you, young lady? You're I'm like 5'10? Five, five, like 5'7, five, maybe? She's 5'7. Yeah. She, she's 5'7. I was, I, was, I was teasing when I said 5'10. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. What's your favorite part when you, because you've got to go up there and you're playing against young ladies who are 5'10", 5'11", right? Some big girls, yeah. So some, some big young ladies, uh, some big girls, exactly right. Uh, what's your favorite part, just blocking a big, tall player or just spiking over one? Oh, I don't know. Probably, my favorite is probably when, like, you're getting double blocked and you still get the kill over, and it's like, ha, ha. gotcha. <laughs> Ha, eat that! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> All right, last year the volleyball team finished just under 500, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, we, we'll we end up, we're going to talk about the uh, some of the things that the volleyball team did last year. Um, made the tournament, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Made your big tournament. Tell me about some of the, uh, tell me about some of the academic stuff that the, uh, the squad did. 
Last year, we finished 11th in the nation in the cumulative GPA. 11th in cumulative GPA. All right. For the in in the entire in the entire in, in C J double in C J C A N J C A A yeah N J C A A. See, we have to get that right. So because we have to get that right because we finished 11th. Yes. Out <laughs> of how many? Um, there's like three four hundred, aren't there? Yeah, we'll say that. I don't know how many things I memorized, but that sounds really good. We don't have all the statistics, but... I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're like three or 400. I tell you what, we're going to do. We're going to take a short break. We're going to talk a little bit more about the academic stuff that they did last year. We're going to bring in some of the girls here in a little bit, some other, some of the other young ladies here in a little bit, and we're going to talk also about a big camp that is coming up this week and weekend uh, down in Fairfield at the Frontier Volleyball is putting on. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. I've got Audrey Fleener down there. I've got Ramsey Clark here, and we're going to be right back after these words on on Wabash Catch TV. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Back after these. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. In 1949, Morton Buildings constructed our first machine storage building to establish our bond with the farming community. Since then, our relationship has grown, and so have our product offerings. From the smallest specialized operation to the largest agricultural enterprise, we understand the needs of your business and continue to evolve to meet industry demands. Plus, when you build a Morton building, you're backed by the strongest warranty in the business. To learn more about the Morton Advantage, visit mortonbuildings.com. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. I'm Christine, and I used to smoke. My tip is, when you hear the words oral cancer, think about more than just your mouth. The skin grafts and reconstructive surgery can really leave a mark on your arm, your shoulder, and your neck. Not to mention what it can do to your face. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at BruceD at Wabash.net if you are a member member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching.
Morning, folks. Welcome back. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. We're talking Frontier Community College Volleyball here with Audrey Fleener down there. Ramsey Clark right here. Audrey, of course, from uh, North Clay. I didn't uh, I didn't give you the chance, by the way. Your mom and dad and uh, grandparents, aunts and uncles and cousins are all uh, probably watching right now saying, that Bruce is rude. He won't let Audrey talk. I don't think they'll get mad, that mad at you. Yeah, I don't think. I appreciate that. That's very kind. Uh, uh, okay, so and we were talking a little bit. How many hours a week? We ended, you ended up 11th place in the nation. Yes. So that means you're somebody's studying, right? Yeah. The, pretty much the whole team is studying and doing a, a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. How many hours a week do you think you spend playing volleyball versus studying? What's your thought process on that? You said about 30 hours playing volleyball. 30 hours a week, and then... 30 hours a week? Don't say that out loud. I think that's illegal. <laughs> 24. It's 20. It's 20 hours a week. No more than that. 20 hours a week. And then studying just like hour or two a night. So you're so studying every night. Yeah. Is the, Okay, we already talked about how the, uh, uh, the volleyball level is different. Oh, yeah. Is the studying level different, too? Or are the classes a little bit... Uh, I think so, yeah. but we have really good teachers at Frontier mm -hmm. who are always willing to help, so that really helps a lot. Ah, okay. That leads me to another uh, another reason why you folks are uh, number eleven in the country. You've got you've got uh, this, uh, you, I've never seen this in college. In that you have a uh, uh, there's like a uh, not quite a truancy program, but a, there's somebody who will call if you don't if you miss a class or something, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Tell me about that. We have people watching. We have people watching us to make sure we are doing what we need to be doing. There you go. Make sure you're stay, staying on on track. Yes. Yeah. And it's it, do you ever? Uh, now I'm certain these young ladies have never had to be pushed back onto the uh, onto the the no. path. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you've seen it happen. And, yeah. and and that's and that's you see that's the thing that's 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 why the grades are so good. Um, volleyball starts when. Our season starts August first. August first. Mm -hmm. That's when you when you start practicing. When when's the, when's your first game? Our first game. Or do you even uh, pay attention August to that? August twenty second. August twenty second. How many games are you going to play? About 30. 30. 30 something around really? thirty. Okay, so you're you're going to play you're going to play a sack full of games. That'll be all, that'll yeah. be a lot of fun. Uh, but August first, you've got something. Tell me what's going on there. August first, there, uh, Ramsey. So August first and second. Can I hold this up? Sure. Mm -hmm. I can't see it. Yeah, I know it's kind of little. Actually, I think I can hit that button. And well, no, that's the wrong one. How about <laughs> how about that button? Yeah. yeah there you go. Tell me about that. Tell me what's going on. So we're having our vo annual volleyball camp August first and second at the Center Street Gym, and it's open to grades first through eighth. Um, do you do all your stuff at Center Street, or do you do much at the high school? As much as we can at Center Street. Yeah, because, I mean, the high school girls are yeah. obviously using their gym a lot more in the fall than yeah, the Center Street is. Yeah, since uh, volleyball is a fall sport in high school and winter sport in, in grade school. Uh, okay, so campers, you, you, what's your favorite thing to teach here? What, what are you guys teaching to the young ladies? Mostly the fundamentals of volleyball for the younger kids because, yeah. I mean, obviously they're not going to be out on the court and scrimmaging at first grade. I gotta tell you, I would think I, 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 I gotta think a first grader, a first grade group scrimmaging might be kind of challenging. Yeah, it's a little hard on the eyes. <laughs> yeah. I love doing it, but, but yeah. at uh, okay, do you uh, now the 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 net's going to be the same height for everybody, isn't it? Yeah. How how far how close do you have to move kids up to be able to serve it over the net? Pretty close. Pretty close. <laughs> All right, now do you teach, uh, at that age, you're probably teaching underhanded serves and stuff yeah. to everybody? Yeah. All right. To probably to the to the fifth through the junior high kids too, right? Or do you have some junior high kids who, were, when were you able to start hitting overhand serves? Around Audrey? junior high, I started trying. I wasn't always successful. Yeah. yeah. But I was starting to test it a little more. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how about you, uh, Ramsey? Probably seventh grade. Yeah. Yeah. Seventh grade. But it's, but okay, now what time is this every day? What time would folks need to bring the kids out? So it's different for different like age divisions for grades first through fourth. It's from eight thirty a.m. to ten. Okay. 
And then for grades 5th through 8th, it is 10.30 to 12.30. And... Oh, 1.30 to 3.30. Yeah, I guess mm -hmm. their section's longer. Well, and uh, 50 bucks for youngsters and 60 for the little older the older kids. But they're going to learn a ton, aren't they? And, and, and uh, they'll be taught by you folks as well as your coaches, right? Yep. Well, they see now. There you go. Um, you, uh, we were off uh, off the air. I asked you, what uh, what great, what the classes are you taking? What's the uh, major? I'm getting my associates in science and arts right now at Frontier. I don't know where I'm going to transfer, but I'd like to study to become a medical laboratory scientist. All right. How about yourself, Ramsey? I'm also getting my associates in science and arts, and I'm wanting to get a majoring in biology, and then I'm hopefully going to get my master's in biology, and I want to be an environmental scientist. Really? Yeah. The good grief. Heavens knows the world needs more of those. Yeah. I'll tell you that. <laughs> That'll be a good gig. Uh, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take a short break. We're going to bring in three more young ladies, and uh, we are going to come back, and we're going to talk more. Frontier Community College Volleyball. And by the way, if the folks want more information on the volleyball camp that starts tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, who? what do they get a hold of? Get a phone number or anything on there? Down there at the bottom, you got one. Oh. Yeah. Yep, our you can contact Coach Nikki Dixie Nikowski. Should I give the phone number? Sure. Okay, I don't know if she'd want me to. Well, I already put it on the screen. If they <laughs> oh, look okay, really it's closely, there. it's on the screen yeah. there. 302-7883? Yep. Is that correct? That's close. I'm, I'm looking from a long way away, and I'm, <laughs> and I'm super old. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. We'll be right back with uh, more Frontier Communication, uh, Frontier Community College Bobcat <laughs> volleyball players right after this word. Stick around. Hi, I'm Brian. You probably know someone who's had a heart attack, COPD, or a heart bypass operation. You might even know someone who's had a heart transplant, lung cancer, or part of their lung removed. But what about someone who's had all six? Now you do. My tip is, if smoking doesn't get you one way, it'll get you another. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont, Chevrolet, Chrysler, and Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at Bruce D at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Looking to build a new hobby building, horse barn, or farm shop? Let Morton Buildings help you design and construct a building that perfectly suits your needs. We'll be there for you every step of the way, even post-construction, with the strongest non-prorated warranty in the industry. Plus, Morton's exclusive Energy Performer Insulation System provides the ultimate in comfort and efficiency. To see our latest projects and learn more, please visit mortonbuildings.com. 
Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Morning, folks. Welcome to uh, Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. This is this is great. These young ladies are such fun. Uh, you're watching uh, Big Talk with Bruce Dickey, and I'm going to uh, uh, introduce the young ladies that have moved in here down on the end. That's uh, Ellie Salise Rivera. She is from Puerto Rico. What town in Puerto Rico, Ellie? <laughs> you can tell me what town you're from. I mean, that's, that's just fine. Corozal, Puerto Rico. Okay, Corazon, Puerto, Puerto Rico. Uh, I, I, Corazon, Corazon, Puerto Rico. I, I had to look down myself. I, that, that's fine. Welcome to the show, Ailey. I appreciate you. you being here. Right there in the middle, this is Danishka Robel. How are you doing, Danisha? Danisha? That's Danishka here. Good grief. That's Kaylee Brown in the middle. That's Kaylee Brown. And how are you doing, Kaylee? I'm good. I'm good. Well, you're much better now that I screwed up your name. Didn't that make you feel much better? Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, Kaylee? I'm good. Where are you from? Sparta, Illinois. Sparta, Illinois. And you're a sophomore. You and you're, uh, Ailey are both sophomores, right? Yes. Everybody here is a sophomore because right next to me is Danishka. I've got. How you doing, Danishka? Getting you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, Dan Danishka Roble. So it's Roble, not Robel. Uh. Rodriguez, but it's okay. <laughs> They've got your name as Roble on the... Uh, <laughs> that's my second last name. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, Rodriguez. Oh, well, you know, that's the thing. Yeah, I, I, all right. That's what I have. Uh, that's cool. Well, welcome to the show, ladies. Thank I you. appreciate it. Um, I got to tell you, I don't think Southern Illinois is probably... Uh, Frontier Community College is probably that big a change for you, Kaylee, from where you're from. Not really. Sparta's not very big. Sparta's <laughs> not very big. Fairfield's kind of similar. Uh, how? Where are you from, Danishka? Uh, Tobaja, Puerto Rico. Okay, yeah, say that one more time and louder. <laughs> Tobaja, Puerto Rico. Okay, from uh, Tobaja, Tobaja. <laughs> is that close? Yeah. Tobaja, <laughs> Tobaja, Puerto Rico. <laughs> where is Tobaja, Puerto Rico? In uh, say conjunction to San Juan. Yeah, it's close. It's close to San Juan. Yeah, it's, it's there. So how many people live in uh, the general vicinity of uh, either Toa Baja <laughs> or of San Juan? I don't know, a lot. Like millions. Millions, yeah. Tell me the culture shock, or was there any shock coming from a large, a large, all mainly Spanish-speaking community to a place like uh, Fairfield or Southern Illinois, or for that matter, it, USA, where about 99% of the people don't speak Spanish. Well, yeah. in Southern Illinois, anyway, yeah, 99%. Well, it was a little difficult because at first I didn't knew how to talk English. I just understand a few stuff. And then I, like, start learning, and I keep, like, trying to acclimate yeah and like right now i can speak a little and i can understand like most of the things that you can say i must ask one thing and and i i i ask this as the the stupid ugly american which i, <laughs> I which i've been in countries uh, where i don't i've been in spain and mm -hmm. i where i don't speak any of the the language they spoke catalan over there by the way which is close to Spanish, but it's not Spanish. Um, does do you do? I got to tell you, you know, they here in the U.S. Whenever somebody, this is what the ugly American does. If somebody isn't understanding them, uh, you probably get this all the time, where they speak louder and slower. <laughs> Do you get that? Yeah. <laughs> does that does that work? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> if if they speak uh, slow, yeah, but louder. 
I'm well. See, yeah, uh, <laughs> louder probably doesn't work very well at all. Yeah. Louder doesn't work. Uh, now, you three are are you living together? Are the three of you? Or are you in their house too? No, I'm oh, with the other two. Oh, okay. You're with the uh, with the other young ladies. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, how many how many girls in your house? Uh, uh, me and me. Just yeah. the two of. Yeah. And okay, uh, Alicia already told me this is a Spanish speaking home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hablas Espanol yeah. in La Casa. I'm yeah. getting uh, is that pretty good, huh? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, hey, oh, yeah. In Su Casa, that's what I meant yeah. to say. Yeah. That's what I meant to say. Um, well, I, I tell you what, I, I'm so glad I, it's working out. How's your studies going? What are you studying? Uh, I have associate in science and arts. I oh, you've already got your your associates, or you're studying no, I, for the I, associates? I, I, Okay, uh, I was I, I was gonna say, what are you still doing here? You can move on to it. <laughs> You're playing Oops. volleyball. Are you studying for the same thing, Ailey? Mm -mm. What are you studying for? Biology. Oh, okay. All right. Planning to move on to a four-year college here in in uh, the the continent the continental states. Are you gonna go back to uh, Puerto Rico, or what's the thought? Whoa. Yeah. Have you even thought that far? Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know. That's fine. Uh, that, that's great. That, that's fine. What are you studying? Nursing. You're studying nursing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, since you're the only one here studying nursing, I'm. I'm. I've got. The, I've got questions. I have. She <laughs> said, "Look at see, she doesn't want to answer my question." <laughs> no, I, I'm wondering how you're not drag. How, how are they still in eleventh place? How are you not dragging this thing down? Because nursing, <laughs> the studying for nursing is so difficult. And so many more hours than everything else, isn't it? Well, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty yeah. tough, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, Kaylee, that's that's outstanding. That's impressive. Okay, uh, last year F Frontier keeps kind of making steps forward, don't they? Last year, what was your biggest win? Didn't you have a uh, well, or the, did you have a big team win against somebody? Or you got to play the number one team in the country? I know that the uh, yeah, that was <laughs> <laughs> that was not a win. <laughs> Actually, talking to Courts Jordan last year, she was happy to get a set. I think you got a set. <laughs> <laughs> it was either last year or the year before. Yeah, I got a set against. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. Well, that's cool. Uh, are you enjoying? Are you enjoying your time at Frontier? Yes, yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, that's 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 wonderful. Where do you want to go to? Uh, have you you said you haven't thought about it? Hey, certainly, you've thought about possible schools you'd like to go to. Yeah, well, I was planning like. If I can find something in Tampa, like oh, you want to go cl closer down to PR? Yeah, closer to PR, Tampa. Well, yeah. I see now that'll be nice. Are you going to go for your uh, bachelor's in uh, in nursing uh, somewhere? Or are you going to be done with the whenever you finish the program here? Oh, and I'm going to move on. Are you? Uh, yeah, I will. Have I want I want to be a nurse practitioner. So. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> see now that's a pretty good gig. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Where Where do you go? How many How many years of school does it take to be a nurse practitioner? Pretty sure it's six. Really? Yeah. Where are you going to go for that? Do you have you thought about I'm, it? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm really not sure yet. They're fresh, but they're basically two months removed from being freshmen in college. Yeah, I don't blame you for not knowing. I, I, I don't. I don't blame you a bit. Um, uh, Ailey, I must ask you one last question. Okay. Are you going to? You you have learned some English by the time. You move back to uh, Puerto Rico. Do you think you'll have a better grasp? on the English language. Yes, I'm going to move to Puerto Rico like... Can I say that? Yeah, go ahead and translate. Go ahead and translate. Yes, you can... Yes, you can... Yes, you can... O sea, en el cambio que has tenido como que se has visto una mejoría en el inglés. I think so. Yeah. There you go. That's English right there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. All right, Ailey spoke some English. I'm very proud. Um, okay, what, uh, what do you play? What's uh, your position? Outside hitter. You're an outside hitter too. Yeah. Um, uh, just like uh, Ramsey over there. What do, what do you do? Middle and outside. Middle and outside. So you you don't care as long as you're on the front row, right? Yeah, we got to be in the front. <laughs> 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 what happens? I'm gonna say, what happens if you're in the back row? You'll accidentally pass it out of bounds yeah, or something like it that. Would be good. Oh, okay, all right. Are you a, a, a how outside hitter? Opposite hitter and setter. Okay, setter and opposite hitter. I, I like that. All right, all right. That's cool. Um, how long do practices last? Uh, are, are practice 
I'm, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. We're, I'm going to find out the conditioning because we ta I was talking with the girls earlier about how tiring volleyball can get. And we'll get, we're going to bring them back as well. And we'll just have the whole five young ladies here. We're going to talk about more about Frontier Volleyball. They've got a big camp coming up. Starts Thursday morning. And uh, you can get your kids down there and learn all kinds of stuff about volleyball. And we'll be back right after these words on Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Stick around. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. In 1949, Morton Buildings constructed our first machine storage building to establish our bond with the farming community. Since then, our relationship has grown, and so have our product offerings. From the smallest specialized operation to the largest agricultural enterprise, we understand the needs of your business and continue to evolve to meet industry demands. Plus, when you build a Morton building, you're backed by the strongest warranty in the business. To learn more about the Morton Advantage, visit mortonbuildings.com. I'm Christine and I used to smoke. My tip is when you hear the words oral cancer, think about more than just your mouth. The skin grafts and reconstructive surgery can really leave a mark on your arm, your shoulder, and your neck. Not to mention what it can do to your face. Welcome back uh, here to uh, Big Talk with Bruce Dickey on Wabash Catch TV. Thank you so much for joining today. We're just having a hoot here with the uh, Frontier Community College, the Bobcats, as uh, the volleyball squad for the Bobcats. Uh, they've got a big, uh, okay, now I, I couldn't get much out of the other girls. Uh, Kaylee, I want you to tell me, what are you going to teach those youngsters on Thursday? What's, what's the biggest thing that you're going to teach those youngsters? Um... I guess the biggest thing they would need to learn is like passing drills. Oh, good yeah. grief! You want I, it's, it's it's volleyball. You're outside hitters. You want to kill, yeah. kill, yeah. kill. They're a little bit small <laughs> for that. <laughs> but that's your favorite part, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah, that's fun. The, the, the children will learn how to pass, as she said. They're going to learn a little bit about serving, and they may not yet learn how to kill, kill, kill. Like like uh, I've been suggesting, but uh, that, that's that's too bad. Down there on the end, that's uh, Ailey Rivera. Uh, here in the middle, uh, this is uh, Kaylee Brown from Sparta. Here next to me, it is uh, Danishka Roble Rodriguez. See, I got it right that time, didn't I? I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of myself. Uh, back there in the back, Ramsey Clark, and uh, here next to her is uh, Audrey Fleener. And um, okay. 
Last year, almost got to 500. You made the playoffs. What is, uh, what's the goal? Every team comes into a season with goals. Every team's going to have goals. Now, usually the coaches make them up. Sometimes players make them up. Uh, and I don't know if uh, you guys have captains or anything like that, but what are the goals going in to a 2019 season, 2019 fall season? Well, you always want to have a better season than you did last year. Yeah. I think that's one of our main goals. Um, Improve. I, improving. We'll mm -hmm. say that's our main goal. Improving. We're okay. We're not to the point where we're 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 stepping forward, and we're not quite to the point where we're getting ranked or anything like that, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, that's that's they, that's a good goal. Um, it, who is who is the big rival? At Frontier has been in volleyball now for three or four. This is. This is the fifth season now, isn't it, of Frontier so, Volleyball? Yeah. Uh, have have uh, the Bobcats developed a gigantic rivalry? We just want to beat this team, beat the tar out of this team worse than anybody else? Or or has that not happened yet? I think you each have one. I think you're, 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 they're sitting there whispering amongst each other because I, I, I think they don't want to give anybody locker room board material or something, like locker bulletin board stuff. Probably. Who would, who would though, if... if they're not listening. You know that those other teams. <laughs> you know that those other schools are watching. Who would who would you want to be? I think it comes with teams that are close because we know girls that go to the other teams that are closer to here. Okay, okay. So she's being she's doing a roundabout way to have me say it, isn't it? Go ahead. <laughs> it's, it's Wabash, isn't it? Probably pretty close yeah. to one. Yeah, there you go. Yes or no? Well, okay. Yes or no. Uh, Wabash or maybe uh, Alney Central, possibly. Uh, those, those, those are nice young ladies up there. It's the Wabash. That's who we really don't like, isn't it? <laughs> They're not going to say anything if I keep asking that question. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, last year, uh, how good was Sparta? I, I don't hear much about Sparta. I know that I know that North Clay was pretty good when Audrey was there. And I know that Hamilton County was pretty good whenever Ramsey was there. Was Sparta pretty good? You're in a, Sparta was in a tough area over there in the uh, southeastern Illinois. Mm -hmm. Or southwestern. Yeah. Well, it was pretty good. Like we had a pretty good team my senior year leaving. Like we did pretty good. Well, how far did you get? I, I don't remember our record or anything. See, now that's cool. <laughs> no, that, that's cool in, in that you've put it all. The high school stuff is all behind you. You are concentrating uh, now on on volleyball. Okay, I, I mentioned that I was going to talk about it earlier a little bit. You have to be in really good shape to play volleyball, don't yeah. you? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're doing four hours of practice a day. How much of that is conditioning? One to two. It's one to Any two idea? One to two hours. One to two, one to two hours mm -hmm. conditioning. Mm -hmm. What does, uh, uh, are you running, in basketball we used to call them uh, man killers or suicides where you'd oh, run to the free throw yeah. line, yeah. half yeah. line, yeah. free throw line, end line and back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you do those or uh, what do you call those in volleyball? Yeah. Killers. Killers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you're running killers. All right. Well, yeah, now that's, that's no fun at all. Mm, no. no. The name suits it very well. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you were, Ramsey, you were mentioning that you were there were some jumping stuff that you were doing to try to improve your leaping ability. What are, What is a good training method to improve your leaping ability? And Or anybody else jump in if, Ram, well, I mean, Ramsey can jump out of the gym, she said already. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I feel like to get a better jump, you just have to keep practicing. Like different, mm -hmm. I don't know how to talk. Mm -hmm. Like different. Well, do you do squats? Different. I mean, so well, you yeah. lift weights and you know, you're doing squats all the yeah. time or something like that. I don't know if we should tell you all of our secrets. Yeah, we can tell you all. Audrey, dog on it. You're too smart for your own good, Audrey. I'm <laughs> trying to get you to spill. Uh, well, I, I'm just saying, we used to do. I, when I played basketball and back in the caveman days, uh, we would do a bunch of squats to try to, to, to get to be able to jump higher and it worked for a little while until you realized that you couldn't run very hard <laughs> until you could, it, it's kind of a, it's kind of a difficult thing and and in volleyball what's the most i i i, I well i was going to bring up uh, what's the most uh, potential injury but the knees who what gets hurt most often knees shoulder or what knees shoulders or danny's head yeah, yeah. oh yeah head. what happens yeah. to your head yeah. you get hit a lot you get hit yeah how come 
Well, what? She's like, what? A target. She's like a target sometimes. Dude. Uh, <laughs> well, <that's not> <laughs> hey, Audrey brought it up. <laughs> well, I got hit twice. You got hit twice? Yeah. and Not I, the same game. From behind or from no, front? No, no. Okay. It was front. And it was Ellie's fault. No. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> She was supposed to block it, wasn't she? No. no. She was going to try to help, like, she was going to hold me, like, defending, but when she tried to touch the ball, the ball just passed and hit me in my face. <laughs> oh. oh, well, that's, uh, did you didn't break anything? No. No, sorry. All right, well, no. that, that, that's <laughs> scary as can be. I didn't, didn't uh, <laughs> uh, um, uh, now, okay, so... Who do we open the season again? Against on the twenty second, you say? Yeah, yeah. Ren Lake. Ren Lake. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ren Lake. And do you play in uh, the Center Street Gymnasium? Yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It is. It's a in nice that, gym. in that, it's pretty cool. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a yeah. Air conditioned comfort to watch the uh, Frontier Bobcats play. It's. Um, Center Street School's been pretty nice to nice to the Bobcats and, and giving. Do you guys are you able to do much training in there, or do you, or or where do you train off season? Do you go to Carter's, or how's that work? Oh, we have the academic, the athletic academy. Oh yeah, we don't. No, we don't. Go there, there are a few churches around Fairfield that has gyms inside, and they are super sweet, and they let us use their gyms in the spring. And we used one this morning. Really? But mm -hmm. I think tomorrow when we go to our open gym again, we are going to go to Center Street. Okay, so Wednesday mornings at Center Street. All right. Uh, so uh, well, that's this is Wednesday morning. That's we're just we're playing with time right now. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's we're time warping uh, or something like that. Well, that is cool. Okay, um, you want to improve? Oh, you got to give me a number. How many wins though? How many wins would would be? Nineteen would be an improvement. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, you'd like to get maybe, how about in the playoffs? Would you like to get a win in the playoffs or something like that? That would be really cool. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. That would be really cool. Um, if folks want more information about when the schedule is or when, when, when folks are going to pull, when you guys are going to play, where is the best way to find out? Because you don't want to look at, you don't want to call uh, Coach Nikoski every time. She might get annoyed. She might get in on what's the best way to uh, get a hold of uh, the schedules? We have a Facebook page. Yeah. yeah. Frontier Volleyball Cat. Frontier Volleyball Bobcats. I think we have our own. Or do we have athletics? You can just go to the Frontier. There's a Frontier Bob athletics. Bobcats athletics side. Bobcats yeah. Athletics. yeah. Bobcat athletics. Tell me about the golden ticket. Well, you get one today. <laughs> I'm getting a golden ticket? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Let's uh, let's see. Let's show what folks what this looks like. So this is a uh, free, excuse me, free admission, right? Yeah. You know, I got to tell you, uh, I appreciate, I, I do appreciate this so much, Kaylee. However, <laughs> I'm media, so I'm going to get in. <laughs> 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 I'm just teasing. I probably would. They probably locked me out. Uh, okay, so Frontier, the, this is the Golden Ticket. Now, how's this work? You just take it with you, and then you give it to the um, the person that'll be. Well, I know, but how do how do do other people get these? I know oh, that this yeah, is just sure. a gift for me. Are there do you guys put them in your programs or something like that? How do you get them? How do you get the golden ticket? Does anybody get a golden ticket, or is this special to me? I guess me? it's special. I think it's Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I am so, I'm so blessed. I have been uh, uh, blessed. The first home game is against Ren Lake College. It is the first game of the season. Mm -hmm. It's the yep. first home game of the season. Oh, yes. And the bad deal is this, this, is kind of, this is kind of a rough way to run your schedule, isn't it? Uh, because of how the, the uh, Center Street, is, their schedule is set up, you've got to play all your home games early, don't you? Yeah. Is that, is that a drag as the season wears on? You'd like to be home uh, later in the year, or you like to get home games uh, done early? What I, do you think, Kaylee? I would like to get the away games done early and then yeah. have more home games at the end. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it's, I, mean, I tell you what, like, let's get on the Frontier Foundation guys to build a volleyball thing. Yeah. Wouldn't that be right? Yes, yeah. there you go. 
Well, get on the foundation. Get on the foundation board. Get on those guys. You guys realize I'm on the board, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. I, well, yeah, 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 I am. We'll get, I'll, I'll get on that right away. Uh, hey, thank you so much for coming in. Ailey Rivera, appreciate you being here. <laughs> she, even though she doesn't speak, she, she, she doesn't speak to me. <laughs> But no, there she did, just did. Kaylee Brown, appreciate you being here. Denise Robla Rodriguez, appreciate you being here. I got it right. Audrey Fleener, thank, thank you so much. Ramsey Clark, thank, thank you so you. much. Frontier Volleyball starts on uh, at, at uh, Center Street School on August 22nd. Be there or be square. Thanks for watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. We'll see you all next time.